This was a mistake. Make some friends. I need a blast. I was in skinny jeans, but it's too hot. Hello everybody, my name is Jill. Hello internet friends. I have a bowl of mac and cheese. Mmm! I want to apologize in advance. I don't know <coughs> if I'm blurry. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hello internet friends. My name is Jill. And if you're new to my disgusting channel, welcome. It's scorching hot right now. There's my leg. If you're new to my channel, hello. Um, I post really cringy videos every week on Tuesday, so subscribe and turn on post notifications if you want to see more mm. if you don't want to see more that's cool too i am here to give you some high school advice because i am clearly a professional high school student and i know what i'm doing and i, I know how everything works this is an awkward time to be filming and posting this video because we're in the middle of summer so i'm sorry if like i disrupted your summer with like a school related video because like this video is for those who would like to prepare ahead of time. I'm here to give you some advice, I guess. Oh my gosh, I also want to apologize for if it, if this video isn't if this video isn't focused or not. Um, I just gotta just gotta deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, first off, let me let me start off by saying last school year, the school year of 2016 and 2017, I was the new student at my new at my high school and i honestly didn't really care like i could do like a separate video on like my whole new high school experience type of thing because that i cannot explain it in this video thing was i was two weeks late to move to the school because i didn't i didn't even plan to move this to the school i was doing online school for like two weeks <laughs> let's begin little extra facts i guess um i'm a sophomore in high school I'm not a sophomore. I'm a junior now. Oh my god. I'm so mm. Mm -mm. Wow. I'm shook. Shooketh. Oh my god. I'm gonna be so old. Not today. Nuh uh. Anyways, let's begin. Number one. If you are going to be the new student at a new high school or at a school in general, you're gonna have a lot of attention on you because you're the, you're fresh meat. You're the new kid. Like everybody's gonna be like, ooh. New person. I have, I have a video of relating to like being the fresh meat, I guess, which I will leave in the description below. Being the new kid is kind of cool because you can be a different person. You can be the kind of person you've always wanted to be. You can change yourself for the better. That's what I did. I mean, <laughs> um, I really disliked my old high school. Like, I'm sorry if some of you guys from my old high school are watching this. I did not like the people there. The school. I mean. Okay, I don't want to start some beef. Like, I'm not trying to start some beef, but this is just based off of my experience. I did not have fun, and I felt like crap. At this new high school, I feel better because, I don't know, I, I have anxiety. I mean, who doesn't? But, like, it's to the point where I had really bad anxiety one time where, like, a lot of people tried to talk to me this one lunch. And, like, I wanted to cry, but I... It, first impressions you know what i'm saying when you're new people don't have to know what your past self like so say you were a shy person at your old high school and you don't want to be the shy person anymore and you want to be more outgoing you know expose yourself to more people and blah 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 you can easily trick people into thinking you're extroverted instead of you know a crippled person like me that's what i did like it's really weird because when i was new i remember somebody saying to me oh my gosh you're so outgoing you're like Wow. Mm. And when I had a lot of problems, I would always consistently visit my counselor because, you know, your girl got problems. Not anymore, but like, <laughs> when I did have problems, we talked about stuff and uh. my counselor basically broke the beans and told me that I was extroverted. And it was really weird because I always saw myself as an introverted person, I guess. But I'm, I'm both. I enjoy being a new person. But yeah, so make some friends. Make sure you know who to consider your true friend. Because you don't want to be in the wrong group. Like people who are freaking negative because you don't deserve negativity in your life. Cut those people away. Number two, education. Uh, grades are important. Grades are important. Prioritize. Prior prioritize. Uh, prioritize what you be doing. I mean, I like to have good grades. I don't understand people who don't really care about grades because grades 
are important. Um, if you don't care about grades, okay, you do you. What I suggest is try your best to get into the habit of succeeding in terms of academics because if you do that as soon as possible, it's just gonna stick with you. Like if you start in the eighth grade and or the ninth grade if you're in the US, a markup. So say you start <sighs> I can't talk today. Try to get into the habit of prioritizing your schoolwork and getting good grades at a very young age because once you start and you continue with that, it'll be a natural habit. You'll think about your grades. Yeah. Be a good kid. Hand in your work on time. Do get your assignments in. Be buddy buddy with your teachers or not because some teachers are freaking rude. Study. Study for tests. You don't want to. Okay, school education. Let's go on to the third one. Socializing. Socializing. Having a few friends in high school will make your high school experience more memorable, more tolerable, more fun. Having friends, really good, positive, nice friends, they will, I don't know, having friends will just make high school easier. As long as they're good friends, like as long as they're positive, they well, it depends on the kind of person you are and what kind of friends you like. Friends are good because they can help you, they can have your back, especially when you're going through stressful or hard times. Having friends will make high school more easy to get through, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got your friends, your friends are there. Well, you, or you got yourself if you like being by yourself. What I do is I actually have a very small amount of people I genuinely consider my friends and then everybody else at school are just people I socialize with. Acquaintan acquaintances, I guess. I don't know, it's hard to explain, like I can't talk right now. You do you, but don't be the new smitchy new chick, nuh uh. Mm -mm. uh, uh. But yeah, I mean like you can be that kind of person if you want to be, the smitchy, but replace the S and the M with a B, you know what I'm saying? Having friends will just, will allow you to make more memorable experiences. Woo! Speaking of experiences, let's go to number what's your name? This? four. Number four. New opportunities. Throughout high school, you're going to be offered and exposed to a bunch of new experiences and new opportunities. To new things. I'm referring to things like drugs, alcohol, other substances, smex. Oh my god. I can't control your life. I really can't control your life. Um, but uh, you do you. I'm not I'm not encouraging it. But if you decide to try some things that I've mentioned and experiment, be safe. Keep yourself safe. Keep yourself happy and healthy. Mental health is more important than freaking schoolwork. So if you are feeling so mentally drained, leave school and go home. Like honestly, I've done that like twice. But yeah, with, with the new opportunities that you will be exposed to when you're in high school, you may have the urge to try them out. It isn't bad to experiment, but like, be careful, like I'm be watch out for yourself. Number single drama and beef. No, no. <coughs> Goodbye. No, I'm not about that. I'm not about that life. Mm -mm. If you are about the beef and drama life, um uh, okay, cool. Uh, I personally despise drama and beef. I mean I'll watch it with like binoculars from a distance, but I will never be involved because it's just <laughs> It's a waste of time. I got a bunch of shiz I'm dealing with, so I don't need that extra unnecessary stress and drama and like, nah, nah. I don't know why some people like drama and beef, like like starting it and like being in it and like want to join and be a part of it. I guess they just like the attention like that. I mean, I hope they have fun, but <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Can't see. Boy. And lastly, numero. Number six, be yourself. Woo! High school can be a place where you discover yourself. Self-discovery, the beautiful thing where you finally understand yourself, you know who you is, you know, you know what you like and what you don't like. <sighs> join clubs you wanna join. Don't be ashamed of anything you're interested in or don't be ashamed of your passion or your dreams. Like embrace that. If you're given a title, like for example, most likely I'm pretty sure I've been called cringy at school. That's fine. I don't care. I know it. I own that shit. You know what I mean? So like if you're given like a title like that, embrace it. Embrace it. Unless unless you're being bullied. Like don't don't let that happen. Like what the what the frick? Uh <laughs> someone bullies, fight them. Or I mean go tell someone, don't let that continue. Don't do it. Don't don't let that don't let that continue. I just repeated myself. Well wow. yeah, no one really cares. No one really cares about anything. Like for example, if you don't wear makeup the next day, no one no one cares. I mean, no one cares. You do UBG. We're gonna die anyways like eventually so uh, uh, 
So like you might as well be spending your life doing what you want to do and what makes you happy Unless that's like murdering people if I missed out on something or if you have like another question I didn't really cover in this video leave it in the comments below because in the comments below. Oh shoot I spilled some milk Frick. High school can either be complete shiz or high school can be like a great fun experience that you will always look back on Your life is what you make it. High school will be what you make it. You know what I'm saying? If you're struggling, if you're struggling with some problems or something and don't give that to yourself. If you don't want to talk to your friends or somebody, go to the school counselor. Go to your counselor. I mean, there's no there's no shame in getting help. I, I've been getting help from my counselor for I don't know how many months. That's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I hope some of these tips and advice helped you a little bit. Or like, helped you mentally prepare for going into high school Woo! life is short have fun yeah that's all i can really say i will see you guys in another video next tuesday be sure to comment thumbs up this video and subscribe and turn on post notifications to receive notifications whenever i post i post every tuesday so there's that leave video requests ah! Shh. Ah! <laughs> mm -mm, not today